Hi guys, Karen here. And today we are doing our regular cooking segment, but these, um, for the next three weeks, I wanted to do a um, some ideas for vegetarian, vegan side dishes for Thanksgiving. So today I, this is, <laughs> I'm making this by request. Um, and also so you all can see normally when I'm the last time I made mac and cheese it was just vegetarian but with a lot of cheese in it and what you didn't see on the other side of that I was also making a mac and cheese for the hubster but today I'm going to show you how I make that mac and cheese and how easy I mean it's like totally simple and um, you can do this this is an easy side for your Thanksgiving meal like seriously easy um, so you know this is my favorite pasta um, I can never say that word right but I'm using the can you see that I'm not even gonna attempt to say it but you can see that okay so you're gonna need some plant-based cheddar cheese I'm all you're gonna need some this is vegan sour cream and yes this is gonna be a very dense um, rich uh, mac and cheese because it's for the holidays um, so yeah you know we're gonna get into it <laughs> uh, so you're gonna need some elbow noodles whatever type you like some smoked paprika black pepper salt I have garlic powder and onion powder and this is just so I can mix all of my seasonings together and today I'm using my handy dandy Le Creuset brazier this is 3.5 also I what you can't see I am using my Le Creuset Dutch oven the five and a half quart so let's get into it okay so while I'm waiting for the water to boil for the noodles I'm just going to mix my seasonings in this little container here so first you're going to need a teaspoon I would say two teaspoons of onion powder um, it, this has no salt in it whatsoever and no I'm not properly measuring but um, uh, blame I blame my mom because I can generally eyeball it this is the garlic powder yep this is garlic and Here's some black pepper. That's like, okay, I used a teaspoon. Here's a smoked paprika. Okay, so I'm gonna clear out my seasonings here. Um, the reason why I add all of these seasonings and herbs, um, or spices rather, is sometimes the plant-based cheese doesn't have that much flavor, like it, it's not like rich in flavor, so these just help it out a little bit and um, you know much to my husband's dismay uh, you know we might want to take some little servings of his as well as the regular mac and cheese so yeah so we have to make sure it's tasting really good as well but anyway let me clear this up and get the noodles ready to go in the pot okay so now see this is this is why this is one of my favorite noodles. I just like the shape of it. Anyway, let's get this in the salted boiling water. And this pasta on the um, direction says it takes six minutes to cook. And, and I cook it for exactly six minutes because you are going to put this mac and cheese in the oven. You don't have to put it in for super long because we won't be adding any dairy to it, but um, yeah. So now you're just gonna boil your pasta for six minutes or however long your directions say. Another little tip that I do is I add some oil to my Le Creuset skillet or a brazier. Um, it's non-stick, however, um, I just want to make sure that nothing sticks to the sides and it makes it easier to get everything out. So you don't need a lot. You're just making sure that you can get, um, that the mac and cheese comes out very easy and basically it makes it easier for your cleanup as well. So if you have a, um, I got this at um, Crate and Barrel and this has come in handy. I think Maya actually found it. 
um, which was a really good find. So this is all I do. I just make sure that um, I know it's already nonstick, but yeah, nobody wants to stand here cleaning a pan for days. So that's all it takes. And so that's me preparing the braiser for the mac and cheese. Okay, it's hot. The noodles are still hot. So now I'm gonna add my sour cream, the vegan sour cream. This is the Tofuti Better Than Sour Cream Milk Free. So I'm going to add this in. So now you just mix all this in and I cannot do this one handed. So I will uh, show you what it looks like after I'm finished mixing it. Make sure to get it all mixed in before adding your seasonings because you don't want a clump of sour cream somewhere. Okay, now I'm gonna add my smoked paprika, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. You're just gonna mix all that in as well. And that's what it looks like all mixed up and I saved a little bit just to sprinkle on the top when I'm done. Now it's time to add your plant-based cheddar. I'm gonna add I'm going to add one bag at a time. This is the first bag, along with a little bit of pinch of salt um, to taste. I did salt my noodles, but you want to make sure it tastes good and it's well seasoned. And just go ahead and mix this all together. Once you have that first batch of cheese mixed in, go ahead and add your second. Um, just, add, just add half the bag of it and leave the rest for the top of it. Okay, from here, you just want to take your mixture and put it into your um, greased braiser and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for uh, about 25, 30 minutes. And then I'll show you guys the final product. Okay, guys, so this is the finished product. I left it in for 25 minutes. Now, before I know um, so what I'll just do is I'll put this like when I'm mixing all together I, I added a cup I would say about a cup and a half of almond milk to it as well be once I had it all in the bowl I added a cup and a half of almond milk but what that burned <laughs> but I will um, put that at the beginning of the video with the ingredients and I guess I'm saying this so I can remind myself to do it. Um, and yeah, and I'm gonna put it in where I'm mixing it in the bowl so I can get it in there. But anyway, that makes it really creamy as well along with the sour cream. But this is the final product. I already tasted it to make sure that it was delicious. Um, and it is, and I hope you all get a chance to uh, use the recipe and um, and I will see you guys in the next video so like I said for the next two more two more weeks I'll be giving you some of the side dishes that I make um, that are vegetarian or vegan this one is vegan um, for Thanksgiving so I will see I hope you guys like it I hope you get to try it and I'll see you guys in the next video bye